Hello all, in this video we are going to discuss about the recent pandemic COVID-19 that is coronavirus disease-19. I myself Dr. Rag Brito, MD in Community Medicine. I have made this presentation taking the content majoritarily from the World Health Organization and Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. Before going to the pandemic COVID-19, we should know about the history of pandemic. In the history, majority death has been contributed by plague, followed by smallpox, then followed by flu and followed by cholera. If we look at the timeline, plague was nearly in the 14th century, smallpox was in the 16th century, cholera was in the 19th century, in the early 20th century it was the flu and in the late 20th century it was the HIV. So now 21st century it is the coronavirus family that is MERS, SARS and COVID-19. The dot looks very simple because the number is only 20,000. Threat here is the spreading power of the disease. Even though the fatality is rated between 2 to 10 percentage, depending upon the age composition of the country, the challenge is the spreading power of the disease. So it spreads so fast. So that is why we are focusing on this COVID-19. This size is big. But proportionate to the population, it is even bigger. But proportionate to the current population, it is smaller. But with the advancement in science and technology, that is with the vaccine and the antibiotic era, the inability of scientific community to understand this virus poses a challenge in control of this COVID-19. So let us see about the coronavirus family. In coronavirus family, usually the genetic material will be in the center, which is surrounded by the envelope containing the protein spikes. These spikes looks like the crown in Latin means corona. That's how the name of the corona is derived. Corona family of viruses causes mostly respiratory illness, rarely gastrointestinal illness. Mostly the infections will be mild and it will not be serious except the SARS that is severe acute respiratory syndrome, MERS Middle East respiratory syndrome and the recent pandemic COVID-19. This corona group of viruses are inherent among the animals. For example, SARS which happened an outbreak in 2003-2004, the reservoir was civet cat. The humans accidentally acquired this SARS coronavirus. In 2012, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome in Saudi Arabia from camel to humans. This SARS caused nearly 8,000 cases, accounting the case fatality rate to 10 percentage. MERS till date about 3,000 cases and almost 1,000 deaths happen, thereby attributing about 35 percentage of case fatality rate. So these coronaviruses was directly transmitted from animals. The human to human transmission was not as severe as this COVID-19. Now the current situation is with the coronavirus outbreak 26th March 2020 we have crossed 4 lakh cases and 20,000 deaths in 196 countries. COVID-19 stands for coronavirus disease 19. It is named as 19 because it was first reported in Wuhan, China in December 2019. Initially it was called as novel coronavirus that is if you would have asked anything about about this virus to any of the scientific experts in November 2019, nobody would have known about this virus. The origin of the virus, that is the animal reservoir, is unknown. Now the mode of the transmission. Why the mode of transmission is important because there is no vaccine or drug available for this virus. So understanding the mode of transmission and control of the spread is vital. So how it is transmitted? It is a respiratory disease. It transmits by the respiratory droplet nuclei. Either it can directly spread from the cough of one person to another person or through the fomite. Person who is coughing keeps his hand and the person shakes hand with infected person or if the person touches the laptop or the door handle, tap and the rails, lift buttons, so then he can get the disease because the virus survives for about days in surfaces. So that makes this virus more contagious. So to avoid this what we can do is we can use our elbows we want to touch. So how to prevent this? There are two key strategies in preventing COVID-19 that is by social distancing. The government of India and WHO recommends 1 meter. 2 meter is even better. So avoid touching the objects. Then we have to wash our hands regularly with soap and water. Then we can use alcohol sanitizer with 60% alcohol in it. We should avoid touching our eyes, nose and mouth. We should throw out the used tissues into the dustbin immediately. We should use handkerchiefs or tissue paper while coughing so that we cannot disseminate the virus into the surfaces. Avoid mass gathering in crowded places. So this is the steps of hand washing. So step 1 is palm to palm. 2 is between the fingers. Step 3 is back of the hands. Step 4 is base of the thumbs. Step 5 is back of the fingers. Step 6 is fingernails. Step 7 is wrist. Then we should rinse and wipe dry using fresh tissue paper. If there is cloth then we should uh, avoid using a common cloth. So here we have mentioned about social distancing and hand washing. Can a mask prevent the disease? Everybody need not wear a mask. You can wear the mask only if you come under these three categories. That is, if you have symptoms, 
fever, cough and difficulty in breathing. You are carrying a COVID-19 patient, either suspect or a confirmed case. You are a health worker attending, that is a doctor, a staff nurse, healthcare provider attending the patients with respiratory symptoms. Then you can use the mask. So how to dispose this used mask? We need to immediately keep that mask within the dustbin. Then we should disinfect using 5% bleach solution or 1% sodium hypochlorite solution and then disposed of either by burning or deep burial. Now, what are the symptoms of COVID-19? Symptoms of COVID-19 are fever, tiredness and dry cough. About 80% will have only mild illness or recover from the disease. Rest 20%, especially the aged population, the person who have high blood pressure, heart problems, diabetes, cancer, immunosuppression therapy are more likely to develop serious illness. In this pyramid, so as I told earlier, about 80% of the cases will be mild. This 80% of the cases will present with or without pneumonia. They does not need any oxygen therapy. This 14% of the severe cases will have shortness of the breath. Their oxygen saturation falls below 93%. Respiratory rate will go above 30 per minute and they need oxygen. They are categorized as severe cases and they recover fast. About 5% of the critical cases who go for respiratory failure, septic shock and multi organ dysfunction and failure. So these cases require ventilatory support. So here is the COVID-19 fatality rate by age. So far, less than 10 years of age, deaths are very rarely reported. In the middle age, it is 0.2 percentage and above 50, it is 1.3 percentage and climbs up to 15 percentage in 80 plus. And here is a comparison for people who has morbidity, previously existing morbidity like hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, COPD and cancer above nearly 5, per 5 to 6 percentage. And if, if if they have any if they have no comorbid conditions then there then the, then there the case fatality rate is less than 1 percentage so how long is the incubation period for covid-19 covid-19 it ranges between 1 to 14 days most commonly the incubation period is around 5 days so in case of quarantine we we quarantine the contacts for 14 days who are all the contacts here a person living in the same household as the COVID-19 case, a person having direct physical contact with COVID-19 and a person who had contact without PPE or possible breach of PPE and a person who was in a closed environment or had face-to-face -face contact with COVID-19, especially as a distance of within one meter including air travel. Now this is for quarantine who are exposed to the, con who are the contacts exposed to the cases. Isolation is for the patient and the time duration is still the test becomes negative and the social distancing is recommended for everyone during this pandemic situation diagnosis is done by rt pcr from nasopharyngeal swab so the take home message here is the social distancing and hand washing so unless you fall under the specified three categories you need not wear mask but you should follow social distancing that is at least one meter distance between people and hand washing